Hey guys, Omni here. We got a casting update for the DC Universe, particularly the Flash movie that eventually plans on coming out. Uh, they have cast a Supergirl. Now, um, we don't know if it's going to be the DCEU Supergirl, especially given the premise of what this upcoming Flash movie is and what it's going to be about and entailing especially since there's going to be multiple versions of Batman showing up in this film. There's going to be diving and dipping through the multiverse. This could be a Supergirl from an alternate Earth, or this could be our first glimpse at the main Earth in the DC Universe, the uh, group with the Justice League that we've seen so far with Ezra Miller, Ben Affleck, uh, Henry Cavill's Superman, and all of that. This could very well be the DCEU Supergirl that we're going to be getting out of this movie. Um, or maybe this is the Supergirl that's rewritten into the universe. We know that Zack Snyder actually hinted at uh, Kara zor actually being out in the world in the first Man of Steel. Um, that was the intent that he went with, with that open pod in the ship when uh, Henry Cavill is exploring the wrecked ship that he locates in the uh, tundra. So it's she's been set up. We just don't know where she is, what's been going on with her. So it could be that one, or it could be um, a different version of the character we'll experience as Barry is traversing the multiverse. Um, either way, uh, Andy Muschietti, the director of the movie, is put out a video where he reveals the casting, not just to us, but to the person that will be playing the role, which, as headlines are already showing, is Ka uh, Sasha Kaye, who is going to be playing the role. So I thought it'd be fun to just kind of check out this little reveal uh, trailer, see just kind of what they say. And if I wouldn't reveal trailer, it's not a trailer. It's just a video clip of their Skype call or Zoom call or whatever call that they're doing this uh, this time. I thought it'd be fun to kind of check it out and just uh, just as some added context and get a feel for uh, the actress too, because I'm not familiar with her. Uh, she's from, I guess the most notable thing that they called her out from, from the article I was reading was the Young and the Restless. Obviously not something that I watch, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll get a feel for her. Hola. Hola, Sasha. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. ¿Y tú cómo estás? The truth is that I don't, you know, we still don't have an answer, but I, I need to, to ask you a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's, it's just part of the process. Yes, so. ask them, please. I've been <laughs> dying over here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Uh, can you fly? <laughs> can I fly? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean, can I fly? Like, fly, like physically. This is almost like kind of cruel <laughs> to do to these people, like Me hanging too. out for these roles. Okay. <laughs> no, of course <laughs> not. Como si que si puedo volar, o sea, All right. Do you want to fly? Yeah, I would love to. Okay. Well, then maybe you want this. <laughs> You know what this what is? It, what? You're Supergirl. Citaciones. Oh. Está bien, Sasha. Come back. Felicitaciones. Congratulations, Sasha. You made it. Oh my god, this is so... Thank you, no, thank you. We're all thrilled about it. Uh, you know, we're super happy. And Little me would be like, no way. <laughs> Can I freak out for a second? Of course, yeah, yeah, take your time. I got it. Sabía lo que era. <laughs> oh, that genuine I'm joy. Okay and, and I'll probably see you guys and talk to you guys and also cry oh, in the middle of a God conversation damn. with you guys. So I just want to say thank you so much again. Um, I really like... I, yeah, you're really... Thank you. Thank you, truly. Well, that was... That was cute as fuck, man. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's so much... I don't know... Just, I mean, I don't know her from any of her other roles or anything like that, but like, there's a lot of personality that sh really just kind of shone through just in that. And I think uh, it's going to be a def definitely a different version and uh, of the character than we've got before. Uh, but 
she looks like she's gotten that spirit that I think and she's I mean she's definitely attractive so I mean that's that's the important part right the important part for cats and supergirls you gotta be hot uh but I don't know guys I'm I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with it um again I don't have a familiarity with the her level of skill that she brings to the uh, the performances she's played in. Um, but yeah, just getting a feel for the personality. Feels like a good fit. Um, again, we don't know where she's going to fit in considering the scope of what this Flash movie's trying to do. I would imagine with them making an announcement like this and putting it out there that she's going to be around for a while. And that still doesn't necessarily mean that she's going to be the DCEU version of this character because, as we know, with the multiverse and with ben, uh, uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman and the Joker, that they are doing uh, these so these tertiary, these secondary universes that are ongoing in separate storylines and franchises separated from the main DCEU, which or Ezra Miller's Flash originates from. So this could introduce her Earth, give her her own Earth to be, be the Kryptonian of that world and carry on her own uh, side franchise in the multiverse. Or she is the, they're casting her as the uh, Kara zor that Zack Snyder set up in this universe. I'm curious to see where they go with it. It's definitely a surprise announcement. And if it is the DCEU version, I wonder if that kind of, kind of uh, doubles down on Warner Brothers wanting to get away from Henry Cavill's Superman. Because a lot of us are still waiting to see if there's ever going to be any update with what he's going to be doing. I mean, because the only thing he's come back to do any shoots for for DC so far has been for uh, the Snyder Cut. Nothing has been talked about with him past that. We got confirmation that he's still not going to be in Shazam 2. Um, that he's not even written in it whatsoever uh, from the uh, writer of that, uh, David F. Sandberg. Um, so there's still no plans for him to be used in the future of DC, which is still kind of upsetting for a lot of us who loved his performance, loved his look, loved the what he brought to that role. And, the, and for those of us that thought that he while he was casting was great, that we never really got to see him in the light of a Superman that a lot of other people wanted, but they still liked the casting. There's still a lot of people on both sides of that coin, whether you were a fan of the Zack Snyder stuff or you weren't, that thought there was a lot of great potential with his casting, and we we don't know if there's we're going to get anything with him going forward or not. Um, but I'd like to see, you know... I'd like to see what they're going to do with this. Like, there's there's nothing they can announce for DC that I'm not going to give a chance or not going to be excited for until they give me a reason not to like it. So I'm open to it. I I'm interested to see what she brings to the table, and I'm curious to know what you guys think. So sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this casting. Are you familiar with any of her roles before? Um, and what do you think about this casting? What do you think the role she's going to be playing in the DCEU as a whole? in the multiverse as a whole. Uh, sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, guys, support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.